welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a regular daily thank you so much for your continuous support and if you're new to the channel welcome as you can see from the title in today's video i will be taking you guys along with me on a mini vlog i am going shopping moving into my new apartment so i need to get a few things so i decided to take you guys along with me just to show you guys how to successfully move into your new apartment as a student for anyone who might be doing it for the first time and would like to see how I go about it so I'm vlogging from my phone from my phone because I don't want to take my camera because I am going to the mall and sometimes at malls they get a little fussy about like having a camera and whatnot and whatnot and I don't want to be inconvenienced so I'm just going to take my phone and vlog from my phone but it is currently quarter to two i'm waiting for my uber to get here and then we're gonna go to four ways more done with my groceries now i am going to get stuff for my place like for my home Going to the upper mall. Right here is Mr. Pai's home, and we're going to get some coasters and hopefully some diffusers as well. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so tired. Uh, I just got back home from all the shopping. Yo, oh, my feet my back my bank account everything is just suffering <laughs> no i'm joking my bank account is not suffering i'm really glad um i'm glad about everything that i got um i did save a lot so i'm really happy about that <laughs> sorry about the loud music um what was i saying yeah um i'm home i'm happy about everything that i got and i did save a lot mm, i'll do an unboxing with you guys a bit later i'm starving it's literally it's five now it's five so i haven't eaten i'm really really hungry so we'll do the unboxing later or tomorrow or some other time i don't know but i need to eat now before i literally collapse um i'll see you guys later hey guys so i am back it is about three days after we went shopping i took you guys along with me to go shopping for a couple of things that i need in my new apartment um it took me a while to do the unboxing video with you guys because i didn't see a need to unpack my things before i got to my place because yeah i was just lazy and yeah i was not gonna do that but i'm at my new place now so i'm already unpacking these things so i decided let me do the unboxing today um if you guys remember very well we went to checkers mr price home um pep and yeah i think that's all so i'm going to take everything out of the plastics show you guys and then i'm going to put the prices on the screen because i don't want to go through the receipts it's going to take me some time 
so i'm just gonna put the prices on the screen and then yeah you guys will see how much everything cost me and then i will read like how much was the total of everything before i start the video how much we spent at the specific shop okay let's get into it the first place we went to was checkers they were having a sale and that is where we bought our food we spent 1178 rands and saved 180 rands so let's unbox checkers first thing i bought was this ice tray i bought um, it's a three pack ice tray for my place and for my sister's place and then I bought mayonnaise I bought some avos these were on sale I think if most of the stuff that I bought were on sale I know that mayonnaise was on sale I know the soups were on sale I think it was 16 rand for four um and then i just bought like some spices this was also on sale this was not on sale uh this was not on sale this was not on sale either and oh <gasps> guys i bought paprika twice oh my word uh, i'm such an idiot why did I do this? I bought paprika ties. Okay, whatever. So I bought these spices. And I bought pineapples. I think the pineapples were on sale. If it's not these specific pineapples, I do know that there are pineapples that are on sale. And then... <clears throat> These juices, these liquid fruit juices, um, they were also on sale. It was 110 Rand for four. It's 1.5 liters and then it's 70 Rand for two, two liters. So because I'm only one person, I didn't think there was a need for me to buy a two liter. Like I don't want to drink one flavor for too long. If that makes sense, it made sense in my head. I don't know if it makes sense, but yeah, I decided to buy the 1.5 liters. And then I bought coffee. Oh, I love coffee so, 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 so much. And it is also on sale for 80 Rand, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's 80 Rand. And then, Elegant Ladies Smell Good and Clean. I bought these Dettol soaps. Why is it not focusing? These dental soaps. It was a hundred rand for twelve. They smell amazing. I love the smell. And then these. Where's the other one? These were also on sale. They were twenty three rand. I think. I don't know how much is the normal price. I think it's somewhere in the thirty rand. And then. <coughs> Oh my gosh, why do I keep sneezing when I'm filming? Oh my gosh. And then I bought this kitchen scissor. Um, <laughs> anyone who's thinking, oh my gosh, she's so obsessed with pink, she bought pink kitchenware. It was not by choice, you guys. They didn't have black, so I was just like, okay, whatever. Then I bought this um, multi-purpose thingy. I want to use this for cleaning my MacBook and my table my coffee table that's coming and then i bought sanitary pads i used cotex um they did have cotex on sale um but it was the 10 pieces and i prefer to like buy a lot so that because i don't have a car it's not like i can be driving to the shops every other day so i was like mm, let me buy the value pack i mean if it is a value pack i guess it is more for value so i bought the value pack and then i don't remember if this was on sale but yeah i bought domestos and then in here is my dental soaps and 
uh, yeah, I think that is it for checkers. So, I don't know, guys. I feel like we got, like, a lot of things for the amount that we spent. And the things were on sale. So, like I said, we saved 170 8 ran 180 basically so my trick is to go for sales and buy in bulk i don't normally buy in bulk but my mom and my sister love buying in bulk so i guess it works moving on to pep at pep we bought homeware um things for our bed i decided to buy my bedding at pep because this is not my forever home it's just like right now i'm still in school so i was not really prepared to invest tons of thousands of rands on luxury bedding i just wanted something that was going to you know sustain me while i'm living here which is god willing not for long so i bought from Pep. Oh, sorry guys. Oh my gosh. You see, the thing is, um, the plastics, the plastics were mixed together. So I also bought these two, two of these. I think they were also on sale. Otherwise I wouldn't have bought them. Either they were on sale or they were cheaper. And then I also bought this toilet spray. Moving along to bedding. I bought this duvet cover from Pep. It was 130 Rand. And then I bought a fitted sheet at Pep also for 160. I don't know why the duvet cover is more expensive than the fitted sheet. I mean, I don't know why the fitted sheet is more expensive than the duvet cover. Weird. And then I bought... Um, two pillowcases these were 16 rand each what is this okay this is how much we spent at pep and then i bought dishcloths i bought this set of three it comes with the micro is it no i'm lying it's just the th a set of three for 14 rand and then i bought two of these bigger ones for 11 12 rand each and then I bought this and this and a sponge. I've already taken the sponge out because I was packing my dishes. So I just wanted to wash them. And I also bought gloves because I, want to, I wanted to deep clean the apartment. But luckily when I got here, there was a lady who was already cleaning it for me. So I'm not going to need to deep clean, but I am just going to clean a bit so i'm gonna use these because i don't want my hands to be dry people are always saying oh my gosh your hands are so soft this is why and lastly i bought this microfiber it's going to be for the table the coffee table and clean my macbook because this is what you use for like wood glass and different types of surfaces so that is everything from pep then we spent 458 rand at pep i don't know i don't know if it's no actually i think it, it's pretty much a bargain oh i also bought a what's this a welcome mat for outside because I don't know i just don't want like my feet to make the house dirty so i bought a mat and yeah that is it from pep moving on to mr price home so at mr price home we spent 270. so <laughs> this is honestly luxury items guys you don't need to get this i bought a reed diffuser and a set of coasters so these are not the coasters that i wanted initially but it is the coasters i had to settle with because they didn't have the coasters that i wanted and the reed diffuser oh i had the hardest time picking because everything just smelled so nice i didn't know how i wanted my place to smell 
Mm, there were just so many options to pick from. I don't know if I wanted candles or a diffuser. I don't know which works best actually. If you know and you have like experience in that type of thing, please do let me know in the comment section. But I'm gonna try this diffuser out because it has so I ended up picking this one because it has Ylang Ylang, which is a scent that I use, a natural scent that I use in my hair product, and I really like it. So I was like, okay, let me give this one a shot. It might be great. That is the only reason I gave this one a shot. But um, when my sister and I went shopping at Mall of Africa, we went to miss the prize, and I smelled these amazing scented candles, and I almost bought them, but I didn't want to take myself out of budget because I did make monthly budget. So I decided to leave them and stick to my diffuser and then maybe once I run into some cash or something, I don't know, I'll go for the candles. But yeah, if you have like experience with home scents and everything, please do let me know in the comment section what works best between um, scented candles and read diffusers. But I'm really excited. Oh, I want my place to smell really, really good. So yeah, thank you. That is it. Mm, this is how I embark on my journey as a student living on a budget again. I feel like it's starting all over again. It's my first time all over again because of COVID. I had to go back home and I got used to like living at home and not having to worry about like household things and cooking and buying food and groceries. So we're basically going on this journey again together for the first time. So yeah, I'm going to be hopefully sharing more of these kinds of videos. If you do enjoy them, please do let me know in the comment section. Sorry about that. As I was saying, if you do enjoy this kind of content, please do let me know in the comment section. Let me know what else you would like to see, what else you'd like to know, um, and I'll be happy to share. But as for today's video, and this whole video actually because not just today but as for this video we have come to the end um don't forget to comment like subscribe and share my video i will see you guys next week